What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Face Off Factory Game Day, presented by Joe Nardella. I'm pumped to break down this Rutgers-Michigan matchup. Two guys who've been having very strong seasons. The Big Ten's kind of a gauntlet for face-offs. What I want you guys to watch for is Whitefelt really likes to go backwards, and Brahms really likes to go forward, so kind of a difference in styles. We'll check out some wing play here. Michigan won that first one. So we see Rutgers is really respecting Michigan. They have both their wing guys on the defensive half. This is an awesome just through the legs, two-handed GB, back to the goalie textbook from Cole Brahms. Third faceoff, we see Whitefelt secure the clamps. Brahms does a great job getting into his body, keeping this play alive. I love the kind of last-ditch effort by Whitefelt to knock that back to his wing guy. Rutgers is trailing the play and comes up with it. They end up getting a look here. I think they should have shot on this one or passed it right away. They end up getting cl clogged up in traffic, and it looks like Rutgers got a timeout. Now we see the wings moving around a little bit. Rutgers is at the 50. They're both down on Whitefeld's draw side, and Rutgers is defensive half, and you see Rutgers kind of shifts back and up the field. Whitefeld, again, kind of like I talked about in the intro, loves that backdoor quick rollout exit. It's really effective, hard to counter, and he's excellent out of those. Great first time GB. Again, we see Brahms, who's a lefty, likes using through the legs a little bit more. This one, he gets out the front. I think he should have moved this to 77, who shouldn't have just been trotting to the middle. And they could have had a six on five, but a little bit of a missed chance. Great job winning forward here by Brahms. Excellent job by the wing guys, kind of giving space and trailing behind. Really good savviness to scoop this up, turn, and the pull to kind of leak up field to give him an outlet and break out of the clear. Whitefelt does a great job winning this back. He does turn it over, though, trying to push a little bit. There was short time, so we'll kind of give him the benefit of the doubt. Now we see Rutgers is really behind Whitefelt on that backside, and they're trying to box out on Brahms' defensive side. This is a great win backwards. Awesome job just being on the same page. Rutgers does have a little transition here, but they elect to kind of play six on six. They were buzzing early on offense, so I think that was the smart move. Now we see the wings jockeying around again. Whitefelt uses that rollout. Great job kicking his stick or kicking the ball while Brahms kind of lifted his stick. I thought that was just high-level ground ball play on both sides, and Michigan is ready to clear. As you guys saw, the goalie looks up field first. I love that coaching out of Michigan. Um, and most of the time, you see guys get out on those exits backwards where wing players leak up field. Brahms won that last one. Unfortunate turnover. Him and Whitefelt both have one now. In tight games like this, you can't afford mistakes like that, so you just just got to settle in. Great GB by Rutgers. Running through traffic. Michigan does an awesome job hunting this one down and Mikey Bame coming out of the box to finish that one off. I think Rutgers needed to be a little more alert on the defensive end. As soon as your guy comes up field to play that GB, you got to be ready. Another great through the legs and back to the goalie from Brahms. Rutgers was finding a lot of success in the first half on that. And I think that's an awesome way to remain safe. You stay poised in the clearing game like Jack Amon running through pressure here. Great job getting his hands free and just getting out of trouble. Now we see the wings 50-50 on Brahms' draw side. He sees that and tries to go forward. This is an excellent play by the Michigan defender, really stealing one. Brahms probably wants that one back and just wishes he kept it a little bit tighter to that face-off circle so they could have cashed in. Michigan has a delayed six on five there. They don't take advantage of it, though. Whitefelt gets the clamp. This is a great counter attempt by Brahms. Way to keep the ball alive. Number nine on Michigan did a great job all day. I think if you guys have teammates who watch some of these clips with you guys, definitely have them watch nine. He has an excellent knack for the ball. He stays behind the scrums here. This is a good job, you know, pushing that up field, finding the two on one. Michigan has a good look. They just miss on that lefty shot. Whitefeld hits the whistle here, and when he does that and he uses that rollout exit, it's really, really hard to stop him. That was a great job by him looking up field. If he had waited maybe another second, his guy actually did break free down the middle. Now we see a clean win forward, but Brahms does a great job contesting and preventing the break. He needs to stay with Whitefeld a little longer here, who makes an awesome shovel pass on this one and is able to get this one in the back of the net. Great play for Michigan. This is really good wing play on both sides. They're both kind of contesting here. As you guys can see, a lot of these face-offs are turning into GBs. Nine on Michigan. Excellent job again. Hanging kind of behind the pile, talking to his teammates, making sure they flick that ball back to him. Similar face-off to where Brahms threw it too far forward. Here we see Michigan do the same thing. They just do a better job of kind of collapsing on it, pushing the ball out of the pile, and getting it back to their defensive half where they have that trailer. Rutgers wins 9-7. I thought this was a really high-level game from both guys and make sure you guys are watching studying up and continuing to follow us on youtube subscribe and we'll see you soon